Don't Snapchat me, bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Their parents, both of which were in the kitchen, heard the thud of Phineas's head hitting the concrete basement floor. <laughs> Dad looked through the keyhole and saw sweaty Ferb with a long, dripping wet cock. <laughs> Ferb, Ferb. Sweaty Ferb. Standing over the unconscious Phineas with a small <laughs> with a small pool of blood around his nose. He yelped at the sight of it, but not before stepping in the puddle of girl cum Candace left from fapping to her brother's blood sex. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what's going on here, their dad said, and I'm going to take care of it, but I need a minute. He then power walked to the bathroom, leaving his wife wondering what was going on. <laughs> she, then curious, peeped through the keyhole. Ferb had rolled Phineas onto his back now, with nose blood streaming down his face, <laughs> and Ferb with a still long hard cock standing over him. She fainted at the sight of this, face planting in Candace's jizz puddle after taking a few steps back. <laughs> Ferb was really turned on by Phineas' bloody shark fin nose. He <laughs> wondered at the sick possibilities. Ferb's asshole started to tingle, staring at his nose. He realized if he cupped his asshole over the nose, he'd be going in dry. But wait, the blood. It wasn't dry. Blood lube is the shit, he murmured. <laughs> I sure it would be enjoyable. Ferb stood over Phineas's head and slowly lowered his pelvis until his asshole was just grazing the tip of Phineas's red nose. His body was ready, and so he lowered himself further, Reggie. feeling the nose penetrate him and stretch his anus vertically, pushing its ends apart. One side towards his lower back, and the other closer to his gooch. <laughs> Feeling his ass cheeks hit Phineas's face, Ferb knew he was in as deep as in as he could go. Imagine taking a rubber band and stretching it one foot. That was the shape of Ferb's ass <laughs> And at that same moment, their dad smashed the basement door open. His 20-inch hard brick cock bouncing around wildly with each step down the stairs. With incredible speed, he cock slapped Ferb in the face, catapulting him off of Phineas. <laughs> Dad then went to work, pissing on Phineas's face to clean off the blood. Ferb watched in awe as his dad pissed onto Phineas's face with perfect accuracy, despite having a gigantic boner. With the blood cleaned off, Phineas began to wake up, only to have his stepdad's girthy cock run down the length of his esophagus, poking into his stomach. Truthfully, Phineas was not expecting to wake up to his stepdad throat-fucking him. F Ferb found this fat-worthy and began working his cock head. Phineas was trying to scream, but found it difficult to do so with such a huge cock dipping into his stomach oh acid. <laughs> stomach acid. And there they continued for hours, their dad throat-fucking Phineas, Ferb fapping, Candace rubbing off in her room, and their mom passed out in a pool of female ejaculates. <laughs> From that day, Harry the Platypus... <laughs> I'm so happy and into the story. I'm so happy and into the fucking story. Larry the Platypus began to work 24-hour shifts and continued to do so for the rest of his platypus life. Oh, that poor platypus. I was like, when's Perry coming out of this? Perry's got a slide in the that was the end of it. Hey, that's the end of I thought... I need to use nothing. I thought of doing something with Perry, like... Them <sighs> wrapping his tail around like a burrito and like, using it as a dildo or something, but... <laughs> He's pure. I wouldn't have wanted to do Perry that. Perry is oh, too pure. Yeah, Perry is pure. <laughs> Should 
Shakib, I got a piss too. You want to cross streams again? <laughs> again. Again? Yeah, it was the first we, were at, time? we were at Nash's house uh, junior year. We had Nash and I were juniors, and uh, people brought people brought weed. And Fuck we were yeah! All smoking it. Why are you Snapchatting? No, I'm not Snapchatting. <laughs> so um, uh, at one point in the night, this was like kind of late, and um, so, some people left, but. I had to take a piss, and Nash's yard is pretty, is pretty decently Pretty's sized. Vicious. I run off to like uh, a couple trees and start and start going at it. Nash comes out of nowhere, grabs my shoulders, and it's like, Nash, you, you want to cross streets? Uh, you like, motherfucker! Oh my god! Oh my god! Around it. <laughs> But it kind of sucked because by the time I had gotten like the full stream going, oh, he, this was, again. he was already sputtering like, he was a, already like sputtering. a lawn sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to get a stream going when you've got a no reason boner. You know what I'm saying? Dude, <laughs> when you wake up, I'm just kidding. you get a boner. Oh my I god. take a piss. This is what I do. I just, I don't have a bone. I didn't have a bone. Yo, I, wait, fucking, I have to squat. You gotta push it down. <laughs> you gotta push it down. You just gotta go like this. Straight into the toilet hole. Alright, my dad, when he was in his fraternity, he had a friend named Woody, and he made a Woody. morning wood adapter so that you could get your piss into the toilet. You gotta ask him about it. Oh, That's what? fucking he incredible. He made a morning wood, like, adapter so that you could get your piss into the toilet, even though you had a raging boner. You gotta ask him about it. Dude, it's the fucking worst. Hi, Sage. So many different, <laughs> so many different positions you have to try to find the difference. I used to resort to sitting backwards on the toilet. Can we go inside soon? Oh, 